The Magic Pajamas, Arabian Nights. Jimmy's family always thought it was strange how he loved to go to bed so early. Right after he was done with dinner and homework, he would brush his teeth, put on his pajama bottoms, kiss his parents goodnight, and tuck himself into bed. Sometimes he would go to bed even when the sun was still out. Jimmy didn't care, though, because he had a fun secret that nobody else knew about. Jimmy's pajamas were magic. Every night they would come to life, and together, Jimmy and his pajamas would go on the most amazing adventures. And every night was a surprise, because they never knew exactly where they were going to end up. They could find themselves high above a circus or deep in a jungle. Jimmy laid in bed, and in a flash of light, his pajamas came to life. Pajamas? yelled Jimmy. Jimmy! shouted his pajamas. Are you ready to go on an adventure? Jimmy was more than ready. He was crazy ready. I've been waiting all day to go to bed. When Jimmy closes his eyes real tight and opens them back up, they are always in a brand new place. So that is what Jimmy did. And this time, when he opened them, it was still pitch black. Hey, where are we? Jimmy asked. I don't know. It's darker in here than that one time when we ended up in outer space. Jimmy and his pajamas stumbled around trying to find a light. In the process, they knocked over a bunch of stuff. Uh-oh, that sounded kind of fragile. Finally, Jimmy found a string and pulled on it. All of a sudden, window blinds shot up, flooding the room with bright sunlight. When they looked outside the window, Jimmy and his pajamas couldn't believe it. They were in a town in the middle of a desert with mountains of sand piled sky high as far as the eye could see. Whoa, gasped Jimmy. We must be in Arabia. If we're in Arabia, then there's probably a genie somewhere around here that can grant us three wishes. We're gonna be rich, said Jimmy's pajamas. Jimmy in his pajamas looked around the room and saw that they had knocked over a lot of stuff, including metal lamps that seemed like the perfect place to keep a genie. Jimmy rubbed lamp after lamp, but none of them had genies. Oh, I guess these are just dud lamps, sighed Jimmy. Suddenly, a sparkly gold lamp hidden behind a bunch of junk caught their attention. That lamp has to have a genie inside it, exclaimed his pajamas. Jimmy rushed over, rubbed the lamp, and what do you know? A genie popped right out. Who has released me from my prison? groaned the genie. We did, exclaimed Jimmy in his pajamas. We get three wishes, right? I want endless pizza and a spaceship made of jelly beans and- Whoa, 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 whoa. The genie interrupted. I cannot grant any wishes. I do not have any more to give. Oh, man, complained Jimmy's pajamas. Out of all the genies in the world, we had to get the one that's broke. The genie was very curious about how a simple pair of pajama pants were talking. I have never seen a pair of magic pants before. That's because I'm one of a kind, gloated Jimmy's pajamas. There ain't no one as handsome or as smart or even magical as me, he bragged. What Jimmy in his pajamas didn't know was that this genie was out of wishes because he made his boss, who happened to be the king of all genies, very angry after spilling a bucket of magic hummus on his daughter, which turned her into a two-headed camel. It was an accident, but when you get on the bad side of the genie king, he takes away all of your wish-granting powers, imprisons you in a lamp, and sticks it in a dark room where no one can ever find you. But now that he was free from his lamp and a pair of magic pajamas was standing right in front of him, the genie had a brilliant, evil idea. I will take these magic pajamas to the king as a gift so he may forgive me and give me back my powers, he thought to himself. Hey, Earth to Genie, shouted Jimmy. Are you okay? Before Jimmy could say another word, the genie snatched the pajamas right off his legs and flew away, blasting through the window. Help me, Jimmy! Screamed his pajamas as the genie carried him into the air. By the way, nice whitey tidies! <laughs> but seriously, help me! Jimmy had no time to be embarrassed, although he did look ridiculous just standing there in his underwear. He looked around the room and spotted a flying carpet rolled up in the corner. Here goes nothing, he said nervously. A flying carpet would not have been Jimmy's first choice for transportation, because guess what? 
Jimmy was afraid of heights. Jimmy zoomed through the air on the magic carpet, screaming at the top of his lungs. The chase was on. First, the genie flew through a palm tree oasis that just happened to be home to a thousand beehives. When Jimmy flew through the forest, he hit beehive after beehive, buzz, smack, buzz, smack, buzz, and got completely covered in honey. Now a million angry bees were chasing Jimmy as he was chasing the genie and his pajamas. Next, the genie flew through a flock of desert sheep. When Jimmy flew through the flock, he hit sheep after sheep, smack, ba, smack, ba, smack, ba, and got completely covered in sheep's wool. Now, a hundred angry sheep were chasing one thousand angry bees that were chasing a white, fluffy, sticky boy who was chasing an evil genie in his magic pajamas. The angry bees and sheep were nothing compared to the angry cobras that slithered after all of them when they interrupted a snake charmer's conference, which was being held at a hotel in front of the genie king's castle. By the time Jimmy had finally caught up with his stolen pajamas, the evil genie had already presented them to the genie king. These magic talking pajamas are but a humble gift, most powerful one, in exchange for your forgiveness and the return of my wish-giving powers. Hey, those are not your magic pajamas to give! exclaimed Jimmy as he ran up to the genie king's throne in his underwear. Who is this boy that stands before me in dirty whitey tighties? asked the king. My name is Jimmy, and those are my pajamas and my best friend, your highness, answered Jimmy. May I have them back, please? Although I would like to keep these magic pajamas, I am a fair genie king. You may have them back if you can answer this super hard mathematical word problem. Oh, great, sighed Jimmy's pajamas. I'm doomed. You are horrible at math. This was true, but Jimmy had no other choice and accepted the challenge. If I have ten daughters total and three are turned into two-headed camels, how many daughters do I have left? Um, seven? answered Jimmy nervously, not sure if this was a trick question. That is correct, declared the genie king. What? No! How could he know that? cried the evil genie. Math is so hard! The king had no problem sending that clumsy genie back into his lamp forever. Do you know how much a two-headed camel eats? It's ridiculous! As promised, Jimmy's pajamas were returned, and they were allowed to go home. When Jimmy got back to his bed, he fell right asleep. It was exhausting chasing down an evil genie with angry bees, sheep, and cobras chasing after you at the same time. Jimmy's pajamas spit out a ball of sheep wool from his pockets. Ah, I need a bath, he cringed with disgust. Good night, Jimmy. I wonder where we'll go tomorrow night. The End